guys, I am Jeremy B. Herwala. For today's video, I will be discussing plants' reproductive system. So my objectives are to identify alter alteration of generation and to further elaborate plant mitosis and meiosis. Plants' means of reproduction includes alternation of generation. It is also called metagenesis, a type of life cycle found in plants that are subsequent generations of individuals alternate between haploid and diploid organism. It has several distinct features and this can vary in every species. Alternation of generation life cycle includes sporophyte, which is maturity, the alternation of generation takes place. The sporophyte develops organs known as sporangia. These specialized reproductive organs produce haploid spores. These cells will be released into the air or water and carried away. When they reach a, a suitable environment, they will begin the process of developing into gametophyte. This represents the, the, the next cycle in the alternation of generations. As the haploid spores is created, the gametophyte generation creates gametes. Gametes are produced by special organs on the gametophyte, the gametangia. These gametes are then spread into the environment or transferred between plants. When they find an opposite gametes, they will begin the process of fusion to form another zygote. This zygote will eventually become a sporophyte and the alternation of generations continue. Alternation of generations has fundamental elements. First, two single-celled haploid gametes, each containing n-paired chromosomes, fuse to form a single-celled diploid zygote, which now contains n pair of chromosomes. Second, the single-celled diploid zygote germinates, dividing via mitosis, which maintains the number of chromosomes at two n. The result, a multicellular diploid organism called sporophyte. Third. When it reaches maturity, sporophyte produces sporangia, the organ that produces sporocets, which is divided by a meiosis that reduces the number of chromosomes by half, resulting in four single-celled diploid spores. Fourth, the single-celled diploid spores germinates dividing by the normal process, which is mitosis, then maintains the number of chromosomes at N. The result is a multicellular haploid organism called the gametophyte. And lastly, when it reaches maturity, the gametophyte produces gametangia, which are the organs that produce haploid gametes. At least one kind of gamete possess some mechanisms for reaching another gamete in order to fuse with it. Alternation of generations have variation. First is the relative importance of sporophyte and gametophyte. This can either be equal, homomorphy or isomorphy, or unequal, which is heteromorphy or anisomorphy. For equal, these are plants that have diploid sporophytes and haploid gametophytes which are externally identical. One of its examples is the algae of Genocidophora which are found in fresh water. No living land plant has equally dominant sporophytes and gametophytes. Although there are theories of evolution of alternation of generation suggests that ancestral plants did. Unequal, we have two classifications. It is either dominant gametophyte or dominant sporophyte. For dominant gametophyte, examples are liverwort, moses, and hornwort. The dominant form is haploid gametophyte. The diploid sporophyte is not capable of an independent existence. For dominant sporophyte, example is ferns. It has both sporophyte and gametophyte that are capable of living independently. But the dominant form is the diploid sporophyte. The haploid gametophyte is much smaller and simpler in structure. Next is the differentiation in the gametophyte and sporophyte. These can either be isogamy or homosphery, which are all are in the same sizes, or the other one is the anisogamy or the heterosphery, which are distinct in sizes. For isogamy 
or homosphery. Example are the C. calicoma of genus Cladophora. It has flagellated gametes which are identical in appearance and ability to move. For anisogamy or the heterosphory, example is the C. lettuce. It has gametes which all have two flagella and are motile. However, they are two sizes. There are larger female gametes and smaller male gametes. Alternation of generation complex life cycle. An egg from archegonium fuses with a sperm released from anthidarium. The zygote is either male or female. A male zygote develops by mitosis into microsporophyte, which at maturity produces microspongia. Microspores germinate producing microgametophyte at maturity one or more anthidaria are produced. Sperm develop within anthidaria. In continuation, a female zygote develops by mitosis into megasporophyte, which at maturity it produces megasporangia. Megaspore develop within the megasporangium. Megaspore germinate producing megagametophyte at maturity. One or more archegonia are produced. This is where eggs are developed. When antheridium and archegonium matures, it produces sperm and egg respectively. Then, life cycle continues. Mitosis is a process that organizes and separates the chromosomes correctly. After the cells separate, the chromosome builds new nuclei. Mitosis has five stages. First, interface. It is where nucleus and nuclear envelope are distinct, and the other chromosomes are in chromatin or the thread like form. Second stage is the prophase. This is where chromosomes are condensed and nuclear envelope is not apparent. Third stage is the metaphase. It is where the thick coiled chromosomes with two chromatids each are lined up on the metaphase plate. And the fourth stage we have anaphase. This is where the chromatids of each chromosome have separated and are moving toward the poles. And the last stage is the telophase and cytokinesis. Telophase is where the chromosomes are at the poles and are diffused. The nuclear envelope is remodeled and cytoplasm may be dividing, while cytokinesis it is where the division in two daughter cells is completed. Meiosis is a process occurs during reproduction to create cells with half the number of chromosomes. It also creates new phase of the life cycle. It is similar to mitosis but the process has two successful division. Meiosis only occurs in plants only during sexual reproduction in specialized cells to produce a haploid egg cell. Meiosis has two parts. Meiosis 1, under meiosis 1 is we have prophase 1. In prophase 1, early in the prophase, the chromosome become visible as thin threads within the nucleus. The two chromatids are now appeared as single condensed threads and are attached at the centromere. Homologous pairs of chromosomes become associated and all are lined up at the centromeres. Each pair is called bivalent. The important aspect of prophase 1 is that bivalents become tightly intertwined and pieces of one chromatid can cross over to other chromosomes. Next stage is the metaphase 1. During metaphase 1, the pair chromosomes move to the middle of the cell to prepare for division. Next 
is the anaphase 1. This is where chromosomes separate and move to opposite ends of the cell. Another stage is telophase 1. This is where the cell divides and the chromosomes again appear thread-like. In telophase 1, cell divides but no cell plate is made. Under meiosis 2, we have prophase 2. Prophase 2 starts the second division stage of meiosis. The chromosome become more distinct again. Each chromosome has two chromatids, but notice how each chromatid is no longer identical because of crossing over. Another part of second meiosis is the metaphase 2, wherein the chromosome lined up in the center of the cell. Another stage is anaphase 2. In anaphase 2, the chromatids pull away from each other. Each has its own centromere. The separated chromosomes move to opposite ends of the cell. Part of meiosis 2 is the telophase 2. This is where the cell divides, new cell walls are formed, and there are four haploid cells, namely tetrad.